today, the field of seven horses moving out of the amphitheater paddock here at Hollywood Park and going out of the track for this great classic. The first leg, as we pointed out in our interviews, was won by Widower Creed, driven by James Dennis, in a track record and the fastest mile paced on a mile track. The time was 157 and 15th last week, and certainly everybody hoping for a tremendous and a fast time today. Dottie's Pick, also a speedster. It was a couple of weeks ago right here at Hollywood Park. But Dottie's Pick set the world record for a mile and an eighth, two and 15. So there you can see the caliber of horses that we'll be watching in the $75,000 American Pacing Classic. The horses are making their final turn going up onto the track here at Hollywood Park. The track is fast. The day is overcast, as you undoubtedly can tell. And as the horses move out now, we'll go for the colorful description of the post parade high atop the grandstand to Roy Shutt. Ladies and gentlemen, there's no question but what the horses moving out on this track right now are the finest in the world. Last week, all seven of these horses paced a mile in at least 158 and 3 fifth. Widower Creed got a new track record, winning the first leg of this classic in 157 and a fifth. But the seventh horse, just think of it, the last horse in the race got under the wire in 158 and 3. All right, they're parading past the stands now, so let's take a good look at them in post-parade order. The second leg of the $75,000 American Pacing Classic. Number one, that's Shadow Way. On by the South Camp Farms of Shafter, driven by Joe O'Brien. 1A Diamond Hal, also owned by South Camp Farms, driven by Jack Williams, Jr. Two, Widower Creed, on by Owen Elliott, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, driven by Jim Dennis. Three, Goldworthy, on by Dr. A.B. Thompson, Pulaski, New York, driven by Wayne Curley Smart. Four, Dottie's Pick, on by the Armstrong Brothers of Toronto, and driven by Del Miller. Five, Bell Acton, on by George Landers, Kidd of Remain, driven by Billy Houghton. And number six, Libby's Boy, on by the Peter Pan Farm of Washington, Pennsylvania, and driven by Dick Buxton. Well, there they are, folks, the seven top pacers in the country. And while we have a moment or so, I'd like to tell you a little more about Belle Acton. She is number five. Now, Belle Acton was second last week to Widower Creed after just arriving from New York and while making her first start over a one-mile racetrack in more than two years. And she figures to be a little more dangerous this afternoon, and a win for her would keep alive her chances to enhance her lifetime earnings there over 322,000. So today, of course, she's really in there pitching. And in addition to being the wealthiest pacing mare of all time, Bell Acton is certainly one of the most consistent. The records show that in 24 starts this season, she's been no worse than third in 23 of them. Right now, Bell Acton is the second favorite in the wagering to Widower Creed, but she could well upset the odds in this one. More about the other starters in a few moments, but now let's go downstairs and join Bill Symes in the paddock. This is about to move out now for the second leg of the $75,000 American Pacing Classic. The horses are on the track, so for a final rundown on the field and the call of the race, here's Roy Shutt. Well, folks, while these horses are getting set to uh, come up behind the gate, Let's check on their past performance in order of their position behind the barrier. Going away from the inside will be Widower Creed with Jim Dennis driving. He was the horse of the meeting here last season. And he won this race last year in identical clockings of 158 and 3 fifths for his two winning legs. And if he wins today, he'll be the first horse in Western Harness Racing Association history to win American Pacing Classic two years running. Now, next to Widower Creed is the three-year-old champion and one of the most beautiful horses today, Shadow Wave. I believe we told you that he won the Little Brown Jug earlier this year, and last week he was a fast-closing third to Widower in Bell Acton. He's earned more than 76000 and this is his first year of racing. Shadow Wave has clever Joe O'Brien driving. He's one of the country's all-time great rainsmen. Goldworth is number three. Last week he was fourth in the first leg of the Classic. He boasts earnings of 133,000 plus, has a time mark of 158 and two-fifths to his crest. Driving that little fellow is Curly Smart, who's performing sensationally at this meeting with 17 victories in some 30 starts. 
Next is Dottie's pick, the very popular mayor out here, who set a time mark of 156 and four fifths at Hollywood Park back in 1956. Now that time was recorded in an against the fence effort, such as you saw Charming Barbara do a few moments ago. Dottie has earned over 257,000 in her career to date, and she flashed her best form two weeks ago here when she placed a mile and an eighth in the track and the world record time of 2.15. Dal Miller, as you heard him say, flew out from Pittsburgh last night to drive Dottie Dick for the first time this season at Hollywood Park. Number five is Belle Acton. We told you about her earlier. She has Billy Houghton in the sulky, but number six behind the gate is Diamond Hal, another popular pacer with fans out here. He's the top money winner in the field with just about 328,000 to his credit. And it was his track record of 157 and two fifths that Widower Creed shattered here last Saturday. A seven-year-old, Diamond Hal, is as game and dangerous competitor as you can find anywhere. He's coupled with Shadow Wave and he has Jack Williams Jr. doing the driving. Horses have turned now and here they come. And on the outside, we have Libby's boy, the outsider in this seven-horse field. But nevertheless, a fine racehorse is borne out by his lifetime bankroll of close to 150,000. And he is driven by a very clever boy, Dick Buxton. It occurs to me, a lot of you folks in uh, Southern California may say, well, how do people acquire these racehorses? Where do they go? Maybe I'd like to jog a horse because some people find that it's great, great, great relaxing, great relaxation to come out here in the morning and to work their own horse. Well, the chance comes up on Monday when they're having a standard bread sale, a sale of trotters and pacers over at the Pomona Fairgrounds, and everybody is welcome. It starts at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so if you've been wondering how you could get one of these trotters or pacers and have your colors and your name registered and race here on the uh, Santa Anita, Hollywood Park, up at Bay Meadows, well, there's your chance on Monday. This looks like a beautiful start. I'm kind of hoping that we'll uh, even knock down that record of last week. It'll be tough to do, though, 157 and fifth. That, they're really flying when they're going like that. Now, you see all of them are nicely lined up as they come down here. And this is going to be another fine start. McDowell from Salem, Illinois, starts, and he's great. There they go. They're on the way. Woodward Creed is taking the lead, but Del Acton's going right with Woodward Creed. Del Acton's racing into the lead and moving up as Libby's boy. As they make the turn, Bell Acton is taking the lead. Libby's boy is driving up on the outside second. Widower Creed is third. Shadow Wave is right there. Fourth. Dottie's pick is up. Diamond Hal is six. Gold worthy trails as they move for the quarter. Libby's boy has moved into the lead. And Libby's boy is flying. 28 past the quarter. That's brilliant. But Del Acton still has the lick to come out with that speed and still go to the top. And Widower Creed is going right along with Del Acton. Del Acton, three quarters of a length, but Widower Creed is driving for the lead. Widower Creed's taking the lead. Del Acton is second, then it's Libby's boy third. Shadow Wave is fourth, Dottie's check is fifth. Diamond Hal and Goldworthy. Widower Creed is on top. It'll be a brilliant half. Here it is. It's 57. Only around the far turn. Widower Creed is there by a length and a quarter. Del Acton is second. Libby's boy is right up there. A surprise. Tight third. Shadow Wave is fourth. Dottie's pick is fifth. Diamond Hal and Goldworthy. Widower Creed a length and a half. Del Acton is second now by four. Now Shadow Wave comes out of fourth on the outside. Widower Creed is the horse to catch. Del Acton is second. Shadow Wave's got a lot. He's coming. So is Dottie's pick. So is Del Acton. The three quarters, 128. They turn for home with Widower Creed staying on top. Del Acton is moving to the outside. It's Widower Creed. But Del Acton is getting up here. And Shadow Wave is coming along with Del Acton. The new world, the record is 155, but that was tremendous. And can you hear that buzzing downstairs? The three-year-old, many thought that Joe O'Brien, 
should not have started a three-year-old against these great older horses. But here is Shadow Wave when Bell Acton, as you probably saw, the pace was just a little too much, and she was weaving. And here comes this great, beautiful-looking chestnut, Shadow Wave, to win for South Camp Farms of Shafter, California, in 156 and 3. And of course, that means now that we will have a third leg of this great classic, and that will be coming up later on. Now it's time to go downstairs to Bill Sines. <clears throat> well, how about that for an exciting race in the time of 156.3, a great victory for Shadow Wave with Joe O'Brien and the bike. No, now we have... Well, Joe O'Brien and uh, Shadow Wave will be coming into the winner's circle. The presentation here this afternoon will be made by the uh, very talented Phil Harris and his lovely wife, Alice Fay. They were the group in from Palm Springs for this particular occasion. Alice Fay and Phil Harris coming in now. Fay, wasn't that an exciting race? That's wonderful. And how about that time, Phil? 156 and 3. That's really moving, isn't I it? I understand that's a world record for a three-year-old, Bill. Wonderful. Certainly nice to have you with us. I hope everybody in your group from Palm Springs is having a fine afternoon for harness racing. They are. Certainly are. Loving Thanks to Mr. Genuine. Well, I know that Joe O'Brien will be waiting for you there, so I'll let you go along. Nice to talk to you. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you very much. And now the presentation here in the winner's circle as Joe O'Brien has come in. Certainly a fine victory for him, a shadow wave. And of course now the third leg of this uh, pacing classic will take place next Saturday here at Hollywood Park. Let's go to the tote board now and see if the prices are up. They are. And we'll leave the activity in the winner's circle for a moment. Number one, shadow wave paid 20, 95, 10, and 320. Number five, Bell Acton. Paid 270 and 250. And at number four, Dottie's pick paid 450 to show. Well, certainly activity here as we go along. The photographer snapping pictures that you'll be looking at in your morning newspaper tomorrow. Joe O'Brien with a great victory. Shadow Wave is uh, a chestnut colt, three years old by Adios out of Shadow Grattan, owned by the SAE Farms in Shafter, California. Well, that just about wraps it up. Final word now from Roy Shutt up uh, high atop the grandstand. Roy? Uh, Bill, thanks. I just wanted to say, Dick Conley of the United States Trotting Association has just told us that is a new world record for a three-year-old shadow wave. A California horse has just broken the world record here at Hollywood Park in 156 and 3.